I don't want to do this, but I'm going to do this. Minnesota House candidate Kyle Green wants to be your N-I-G-G-E-R. That's right, he does. And within a week of that, Cory Booker decided that he was Spartacus. And our president is the mentally ill one. Now, I'm not trying to pass judgment. I, I really am not. I'm not gonna call these men stupid, but I might have to call them stupid. But before, before anybody jumps down my throat and goes, Irene, what's wrong with you? I just wanna, I want to demonstrate why it is that I feel slightly, oh, what's the emotion? Enraged. Yeah, I think enraged is what I feel right now. Perhaps because these are black men. Perhaps because these are black men seeking to achieve and with a level of power and representation of our people. Perhaps it's because I'm starting to think there is a man. And he has hired these fools to completely embarrass my people. But I need to back this up with some evidence, okay? Can't just run around calling people stupid traitors without evidence. So let me try to get some. So Cory Booker and his Spartacus situation. Let's just look at that really quick. And if Senator Cornyn believes that I violated Senate rules, I, I, I openly invite and accept the consequences of my team releasing that email right now. And I'm releasing it to expose that number one, the emails that are being withheld from the public have nothing to do with national security. Now I appreciate the comments of my colleagues. This is about the closest I'll probably ever have in my life to an I am Spartacus moment. Okay. Not too, 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 too bad. But then it turns out that the documents he came with were actually already declassified the day before. And so to help him dig himself out of the stupid hole on Fox, he was reminded of this fact. Well, speaking of the documents, this morning you said you were going to break Senate rules so you could release documents pertaining to, Supreme, to, to Kavanaugh. You said you were willing to risk expulsion from the Senate to do that. Now Republicans on the committee have said that the documents had already been approved for release before 4 a.m. this morning. Senator Cornyn basically accused you of a political stunt to bolster a possible run for the presidency. Was that just a stunt? Well, I mean, the amusing thing about that is what Cornyn first said is he threatened me. He threatened me with expulsion. said what I was doing was unbecoming to the office I was holding. It's a deep insult for a senator to give to a senator in an environment with his lots of collegiate. And he was doing that because last night I broke the Senate rules by reading from that email. But did he use that as an opportunity to not be stupid? Oh no, he goes hard for his stupidity. And if you don't believe me, do let him tell you himself. But I guess the question is, was it really a violation? Because at this point, I mean, to be clear, Bill Burke, the President Bush's presidential record representative said he cleared the documents before 4 a.m. per your staff's request and that they had told you you could use them publicly. Grassley's office also confirmed you were told that the restrictions on the documents had been waived before you spoke today. So how do you square that with the idea that with what you've said. Well, I square that very easily. Number one, last night I broke the rules before they even, then, then they scrambled to release the document, but I continue to release documents. I've released 20 so far that they have not cleared. I am breaking the rules. I am breaking the sham rules. 20 documents, if you check my Twitter feed, anybody in the public now can have access to the ones that they wanted to hide. They haven't cleared those yet. Maybe they're rushing to catch up to me and clear those as well. So what you've talked process. about today though, earlier, had those been cleared, and did you know those had been cleared? Uh, again, when I broke the committee rules last night, those documents had not been cleared. What do you say? It's very important to him that you know that he's a lawbreaker. 
And even if those documents were already classified, he plans to release some more. And he dares them to catch up to declassifying documents as fast as he can release documents that are classified. I don't even understand where to start with this. I don't even know that I want to start with this. I just want to know, is he actually retarded? Is this, is this topsy-turvy land? I mean, I guess because the news called those other two, three criminals patriots, that he thought he could hop on the Patriot bandwagon too. But this is coming across as something totally different not so patriotic, slightly irritating. I'm not really sure what to make of it, but I'm pretty sure he's a traitor to my kind. I mean, dude, why do you have to be the one to be Spartacus? Can somebody else be Spartacus? Does it have to be one of my people? And then does it have to happen immediately after that fool that wants to be your, I can't even say it. I'm, I'm gonna let him say it. District 18A State Representative. I'm not asking for you to vote for me as your leader. I'm asking for you to vote for me as your public servant. The primary duty of a state representative is to protect all the rights of his constituents. I want to be your state representative. I want to be your public servant. And I want to be your nigger. I don't know. I'm speechless. And so I think um, the evidence has spoken for itself. I'm not sure what's happening in America right now. I feel like somebody is insane. Some people are insane. I'm not so positive it's the president. I mean, there are some crazy people running around. I mean, both of those dudes have the crazy eyes. And I know that there are some other crazy people just marching along here in this political soup of retardation, stupidity, and rebellion. But why are people? There's so few of us, y'all. Stop messing up. What the heck? Can you at least be covert with your retardation? Like, does this have to be on the public stage? Haven't you heard? There's some things we don't do in public. Keep that private. If you wanna be Spartacus, that's between you and your wife. And if you wanna be somebody's N-I-G-G-E-R, that's for role play. At best, that's not something you announce to the general public on your campaign ad. I just, I don't even know. I don't know why I made this video, y'all. I, I really have nothing else to say. I'm, I'm absolutely and utterly appalled. I'm also pretty angry. Very, very, very angry. Look at that. I'm an angry black girl. They've turned me into a stereotype with their shenanigans. Thank you, Booker and Green. You're stereotypically stupid and now I'm stereotypically angry. All because you guys don't even want to shut up. Talk to you guys later.